RNIB Conversations Between. Conversations Between by RNIB. Hi, I'm Jesse Lewis Reese. I'm a writer director. I'm Adam Morse. I'm an actor, filmmaker, and philanthropist. How did you get into directing? I got into directing um, by writing uh, screenplays and wrote, directed and produced my first feature film, Lucid, which was released by Amazon in 2020. One of my short films, Eyelash, that I did, which was an adaptation of uh, Neil Hilborn's uh, poem, OCD. I adapted that to a short film and, and we shot it for next to no money, but then it ended up BAFTA nomination, which was amazing and kind of opened a lot of doors for, for me sort of becoming a, a writer-director as my job. How does a director of Sight Loss direct a film? When it comes to directing the camera, I have a 60-inch, um, you know, TV, and my face is like in the screen, nose is like touching the glass, and I, because I have some partial peripheral sight left, I'm moving my head, trying to see through the corner of my eye, just what is, you know, to try and compose a frame. But really, it's not about the details uh, for me when I'm directing. I, I trust my department heads to focus on those details, whether it's like, I don't know, a ruffle in the costume, you know, then the, when it's hair, makeup and wardrobe doing those checks. Or if it's a prop that looks slightly out of place, my production designer or art director will go and sort that out. You need to make sure you're on the same page beforehand, and that's why I say movies are made in prep. You know, everybody needs to understand what my vision is and the tone that I want to create and put on the screen. So really, it's about tone for me. That's my job as a director, is to set the tone on the screen. Is the film industry more inclusive now? There's still a lot of work that needs to be done, I think, to put an end to the negative stigma that's associated with blindness and disability in general, like in the See the Person campaign um, film that Jesse made. I've sort of brought onto the campaign for RNIB to direct the, their campaign film, um, See the Person. A lot of it was to kind of obviously push the campaign of the charity RNIB that does so much you know, good for people with sight loss. It was also to kind of make a film that challenges uh, the stereotypes. The biggest thing I learned from making the, the See the Person campaign film was I met this whole community of people that just really like, threw me in, in how special they are. And, and you look on screen and there isn't that kind of representation or there isn't enough of it making people feel seen and heard and part of a community. And that's like the power of visual storytelling. And I think there's a lot of work to do to, to get these people uh, on screen and, and, and so that other people can relate to and feel seen and heard and, 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 and represented. One other question from downstairs, this maybe makes more sense to you than me, and it was to ask about migrating. Uh, just to clarify guys, sorry, they actually just wanted to know if you wanted a drink. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to wing it, I'm going to improvise. That is, that is improv. RNIB, see differently.